Hi friends, uh, in this video we're going to be showing you the latest uh, all-in-one series by Dell, the Dell Inspiron 12020. This is a perfect all-in-one desktop for uh, all your business uses as well as uh, home use. There are variants which are uh, from dual core to the core i3s to the core i5s in this particular series and you have graphics card based versions and non graphics based versions also depending on your requirements. So we have it in front of you here and uh, let's just start by showing you the things that come along with it. So we'll start with a mouse uh, that gets bundled along with it and uh, it comes with a 2.4 gigahertz mini dongle as you can see here and let's just open it up for you. This is the way the mouse looks like. It's got this matte finish on the top of it and this indicator for the battery uh, getting low or high. And it has got two click operation. There are absolutely no other clicks as you can see. Uh, looks very sturdy in your hand. Uh, looks neat as it is. So it's basically a optical mouse. Uh, it's got an on and off button also here which is a requirement because uh, if you just put the mouse away and uh, go go away from the PC uh, this, this will consume a little bit of power so I think this is a good thing and the 2.4 gigahertz dongle is also uh, just like uh, most of the wireless mouse these days it's, it's this way over here and uh, This is what it is. Let's start showing you the keyboard here. The keyboard is a chiclet keyboard, full sized keyboard with a numdoc and uh, multimedia controls and uh, all the standard uh, features of a keyboard. The keys spacing is uh, pretty neat and uh, the size of the keys are good, better than uh, the ones that you see in your laptops. And this is the way it looks. and uh, this is the way it looks, it's got a little bit of an elevation here the back of it, uh, rudders over here and over here so that it does not move when you're working as well as the elevation uh, gives you ergonomics when you're working on the keyboard for long hours very neat design, the place you put your battery is over here, you can just put in your battery and it'll start and uh, even this has got an on and off key there's one single 2.4 gigahertz dongle for the mouse as well as the keyboard so you not have two different dongles for the keyboard and the mouse respectively one single uh, dongle for both of them so this this is the keyboard it's got this matte finish and this shiny little glossy little finish running all the way all right Okay, it comes bundled with uh, uh, Windows CD if you're uh, having a Windows 7 based version and uh, comes along with the drivers also. So coming to the adapter, as you can see this is a huge adapter. It's a Dell 135 watt adapter. So quite a neat one. It's got the same Dell laptop kind of a connector here. Alright, so let's just start having a look at the all-in-one itself. So this is the all-in-one uh, that we are reviewing today, the 102020. It's got non-reflective screen as you can see, it has got a matte finish screen, uh, helps in uh, business scenarios and uh, also because it is anti-reflective, you would not see your image uh, again and again uh, on the screen. So. Let's get it a little close here. Alright. So as you can see, it has got these thick borders here. Borders are pretty thick. The entire uh, border here is having a glossy finish. It's totally glossy. Uh, as you can see over here. 
This is an integrated web camera with a mic and built in it. And uh, the speakers, I think, are on the base here. And uh, this entirely is having no controls whatsoever. There is a power button here. It's not a power button, actually. This is something else. I think the power button is on the other side. Let's just have a look at it from a different angle from the right side of the this is the way it looks it's got a DVD writer here and uh, the power button is here over here there's a hard disk indicator uh, uh, which is over here uh, it's pretty thick on the design this particular uh, elevation gives it a real night nice little elegant little look here the base as you can see is pretty huge we'll show that a little later this is the way it looks uh, on the right on the right so let me just flip it and show the back to you okay so this is the way the back looks like and uh, as you can see the windows uh, uh, certificate of authenticity is there the charging port here, the Ethernet uh, port, three USB ports, one we have consumed for the keyboard and mouse combo and uh, this is the way it looks, this is the heat dissipation area where the heat gets dissipated from and uh, this is the Kensington lock if you want to have this part is really sturdy and the looks of it looks very very sturdy let us have a look on the left side now alright on the left side we have uh, these three buttons we will figure out what we have to do with those buttons uh, this is the headphone this is the mic jack two more USB ports so in total five USB ports this is the memory card uh, reader and the same thick design is here you can see a small little cavity over here which has got some uh, heat dissipation area wherein uh, heat can get dissipated alright so let's power it on now now the all in one is starting and uh, you can see the windows screen coming up the one thing that I wanted to show you guys is how to put a mouse uh, how to put a battery in the mouse so as you can see uh, on the outside you would feel you have to place the battery in the base or somewhere but it's pretty simple it's got a magnetic kind of a cover which will just slip onto it so it's a magnetic cover you just need to put in the batteries here this thing comes out and uh, you can put the batteries and you can again lock it back that's it alright so it's good to go now and okay so we have uh, done the windows assessment test here and uh, these are the ratings it has got uh, processor is uh, 6.09 RAM is uh, 5.9, uh, graphics is 4.7 and gaming graphics is 5.5 hard drive data transfer rate is 5.9 so the lowest subscore here is 4.7 so this is the windows rating that uh, the Inspiron 2020 with a core i3 4 GB and a 500 GB hard drive based uh, all-in-one gives to you when you start up the customary uh, Dell panel is here this is the dock that Dell provides with most of its uh, products be it desktop all in one or the laptop the audio quality is also very good uh, let's just test it for once the response times are uh, very neat uh, I don't think we have uh, okay we do have some let's play something It's got a good little bass coming out of it. Could have been a 
little bit better though but neat enough right the model that we have reviewed today is uh, a Core i3 2120T CPU with 2.6 GHz clock speed, 4 GB RAM, 64 bit operating system, and uh, 500 GB hard drive based 20 inches screen. The resolution uh, is 1600 into 900, it's pretty impressive, and it has got a 20 inches uh, IPS screen. So it's not touch screen, basically, it's a uh, normal screen LED, the blue LED to be very precise. The camera is an HD camera. Uh, Let's mean let let's just see if we can get onto the camera here. Right, there is no. We have the Dell Webcam Central and uh, Yo man, that's me for you guys. The quality is pretty neat. Uh, you have these settings in the camera console make it little all right friends so this is the review for the inspiron 12020 and uh, do let me know if your suggestions and comments uh, do not forget to subscribe uh, do watch our videos on a regular basis uh, do let us know of any suggestions or views you have thanks a lot guys thanks a lot for watching